In the last step on the TTV construction, uh, we had finished the eBay and had attached the body tube to the back end of the eBay. So now this is called the fin can um, and we're ready to start putting the fins in. Um, so we're on step number 29 and the first thing is to lightly sand the surface of the wood with some light uh, sandpaper just to smooth it out. This is uh, basswood, so it's already pretty smooth. <laughs> I am dropping everything. Oh, my instructions are out of place now. Okay, so. All right, so I'm going to remove the fins, um, and we want these uh, fins right here. You'll figure it out pretty quick because they don't, the fins will only go into one of the two stages. You can see by the tabs, the bottom stage has two slots where the top stage has just a single slot. Um, I am also going to um, stack sand and take off these little nubs where the, uh, they were held into the sheet of basswood. Just be careful on this bottom tab. We don't want to take off too much. Just want to uh, lightly do that just to remove that raised tab. Um, on the uh, leading edge and the trailing edge, I'm gonna round them off to provide a little bit less drag on these. Um, on my top stage, I want rounded, and my bottom I want uh, more flat because I do want this to drag separate. Um, and that's just my personal preference. You can, you can airfoil both of the sets of fins if you want. Um, that's totally up to you. Um, the cool thing about drag separation is uh, the, the rocket separates before the upper stage ignites. And it just, it's a cool effect. Uh, people like seeing it. Um, it's kind of like, uh, keeps, keeps you on the edge of your seat, which is why I do it. It's, it's not nece necessary. Um, and it, there's really no performance advantage. Uh, not for this kit. All right, so this is rounded and I'll go ahead and do that with these other fins as well. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my fins sanded. Um, first, I want to test fit them into the tube. And you want to um, just kind of feel this tab touching that inside tube. Um, you can't see it, you got to feel it. Um, so that's pretty good. Okay, so the next thing is to glue these into the slots. Um, I'm going to use a fin jig just to make sure that my fins are perfectly straight. Uh, they're going to be straight along the tube this way, but they could still be crooked like that. Um, so I want to use the fin jig just to make sure that they're nice and, and perpendicular to the tube. Now these are 332nd inch balsa wood, um, and our fin jig that we sell here at Apogee is for eighth inch. So they're going to be loose, so we're going to need to use some shims. Um, and I just cut some paper, um, and I want to stack the paper so there's an equal number of sheets on each side of the fin so that it, it centers it up and it's uh, fairly um, rigid in there. So I'm going to get some paper towels handy, get my wood glue.
Okay, put that into that slot. There's gonna be a little bit of excess, just take that off. We'll put on fillets after this glue dries. So let me do all three fins and then I'll show you how to use the fin jig. So, the fin jig. Okay, so right now, I'm going to take my shims and I'm going to slide these through. Just like that. Just keep them um, out of if there if there's any glue that's oozing there. Just to make sure that the, you don't glue the shims to the tube. All right, so at this point, um, I'm just going to let my glue dry. Um, and in the meantime, I can actually go ahead and uh, in our next step, we're going to glue the launch lug onto the longer tube. And there's a nice uh, rectangle right there. And it's going to get glued right in the middle of that rectangle. So that's really easy to do. So I'll go ahead and do that um, while we're waiting for that glue to dry. Okay, so in the next step, um, we'll go ahead and put the fin fillets on um, after this is dried and then can start uh, with the rest of the rocket.